Alrighty, I'm gonna get started in a sec. I'm just making sure everything is right. Uh, let's see, I got a picture in picture here. Hopefully that'll pop up. Let's see. There we go. And that's just to capture what my pen is doing. Let's see if I can zoom it out just a smidge. Hi, this is Kim Pinkney, and welcome to my channel. And just making sure that this thing can capture. Here's the bottom. some adjustments. There we go. Trying to capture the entire screen. That way we can do this tutorial on uh, Liquify. Now uh, I use a program called Easy Pose. It's pretty inexpensive. Oh yeah, right here. Da, da, da. I use Procreate for my drawing program and then Easy Pose to create those uh, poses that you know you just can't seem to find in uh, just regular places. So let's go ahead and reset all of this. Blue scene. Okay, dokie. And we're going to go ahead and I'll show you what happens. Let's see. Let's use a different model. I always use the same model. Uh, let me close that. And this is just to showcase what the liquify tool can do. And I want to have one that is totally different. Let me try the female shorty here. Use her face. Zoom in. So once you get your face or uh, from whichever program that you use, let me see if we can, there we go. And that's what it looks like. Now in this program you cannot uh, export the 3D model and then spin it around. It won't let you. So. At best, what you can do is export the, uh, like a screen capture of whatever pose that you create. So we're focusing on the face today. Let's see, and I'm trying to figure out what kind of pose I would like the face to be in. Like you, in, in this program, also you just can't you can't edit the expressions. You can edit the eyes, and you can make them look at you. That's not too bad. You can make that happen. Yeah, I like that. So we'll have them giving us the side eye kind of sorta. Yeah, three quarters view. And we'll I'll try to keep this as brief as possible. So because I want to get the best uh, portrait that I can out of this. I'm going to zoom in as much as I can. So, move forward again. And there we go. And let's tilt it one more time. Okay. Everything here is going to change. Now, this is something that you can edit any way that you want. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and export the image. I'm going to go to the, if you can see what my pen is doing. Let's see if I can zoom it in. There we go. It's the, the, ah, the eyeball right here in the corner. Hit that. And then right here, the third, 
third symbol in is the uh, is the camera without a background. You've got this one solid that you'll capture everything in the back. If you don't want that, just hit that one. I got a screen capture, and it'll end up in my pictures. Okay, so let's go ahead and hop out of this. Zoom this in a little bit. Zoom this out a little bit. Okay. Now, this is what I had done for like two hours uh, doing the liquify tool, only to find out I had no volume and it didn't capture uh, it didn't capture my uh, background. So it's like all you had was like the, the tiny picture in picture. You see, I want to make sure that everything is being captured right now. Yeah, all right. Okay. Okay, so what I'll do now is go ahead and um, do a squeeze, uh, sorry, I'll do a time lapse replay. So you can kind of, oops, sorry. You can do, you can kind of see how I got to this point. The only thing is that when, you do the time-lapse replay it doesn't show actions of the liquify tool it just shows the end result of the liquify tool so what I mean is time-lapse replay I'm going from this oh this is from my previous live stream so uh, for the last live stream I had done this is uh, me setting up for expressions and instead of just working with what I had, I decided to kind of edit her in the way that I would, you know, just do a, a, a nice picture uh, based off of another picture. So I borrowed the features from Source Image to get this particular character. I pretty much use the liquify tool because you can see the difference between the two images. Added nostrils, added lips, shrank the eyes, duplicated the eyes, crossed it over, uh, but it's all done really super fast and with the liquify tool not being, uh, you know, like when I bring it in and I I move things around and just don't see it. So, uh, but this is uh, pretty much what I'm going to lead us through. And then I ended up doing, after three hours of creating, <laughs> I finally got to an expression. Now, this is the one that didn't get the voice capture. Um, I had already used the liquify tool to uh, bring the, uh, the eye in. I had I uh, used the smudge tool to clean up. I used uh, some of the other liquify features uh, to do the image. Um, and let's see as it keeps going. And I pretty much only used one brush uh, as far as doing um, pretty much everything except for the eyelashes. I have, a, I used the, the fine hair brush for that. Everything else was pretty much done with the uh, soft airbrush. And I had demonstrated how to throw on some quick teeth. then had the mouth and then I plumped up the lips but again like the liquify tool will only show you the end result so it's like it'll go from one size lip uh, to a whole nother size see it's just like BAM <laughs> and this here was like two hours worth of work in itself uh, getting the hair and whatnot uh, using the smudge tool. 
And then um, coming close to the end here where I show that you could use the liquify tool to uh, bend your hair and give yourself uh, soft curls and not soft curls, but soft waves and just went crazy and ham on the, uh, the coloring. So uh, I hope you can uh, buckle up with me. I'm going to show you uh, the liquify tool how I use it to manipulate bodies from that, this bad boy right here, <laughs> to what we currently have. All right, that's the end of that. All right, so what I'll do is I will make a duplicate of this. Or actually, no, we're going to start fresh. Um, I like to use the highest resolution uh, in an 8.5 by 11. I'll uh, use 600 dpi, which limits how many layers I can have. So if the higher the resolution, uh, the less uh, layers you can have. So to find out how many layers you can use, you can go to Canvas, Canvas Information, and then uh, we've got Dimensions. I, I've got it at 600 dpi at uh, 8.5 by 11. I can do the max layers available is 11, and one's already taken. Uh, so just got to keep that in mind. So I will be uh, downsizing layers and whatnot like that just to save myself space. Okay, so let's go ahead and take that background color drop that down to like a neutral gray of some sort there we go so it's not too bad we're going to bring in that picture we go to the symbol here let's see i don't know if you could see it from that angle let me see if i can bring this back over i'm going to go to the wrench here and then i'm going to hit add and i'm going to insert a photo and that image that we grabbed it's right there and I'm going to fit that to canvas. Now, would you, you think that this here is not, is, uh, I'm sorry, is, it has no background, but in a sense it kind of does. Um, this whole bounding box here is a background of sorts, and I need to get rid of that, uh, or else I'll be having to worry about all that other crap. Uh, trying to make things work because I'm trying to draw on top of this image here. Uh, one way to see that you've got that, you know, the bounding box is just huge. I, I'm going to do this. You can come close to here and that'll take it down a notch. Anything that's off the, the canvas disappears. There we go. And now I'm going to get rid of the rest of this bounding box here. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a selection. Let's see. There's a select tool. The color fill I'm going to turn off. And then, let's see, if I do a selection, I'll go to automatic. And then I'll hit the outside. See how it all turns blue? I'm going to take the arrow key and then I'm going to drag off the screen. Everything that I'm dragging off the screen that looks invisible is uh, what, was what was on that background. So now uh, we have a fresh character here. There's nothing, um, when we zoom in, you don't see like a ghost of an image or anything like that. Alright. Okay, so one of the things I like doing is taking and well before i get into technique let me go ahead and show the liquify tool so that anybody who doesn't want to stay uh for like a three hour video <laughs> doesn't have to okay um the liquify tool is found under the adjustments and it's right here it's this little uh magic wand you hit that liquify is down at the very bottom and with the liquify oh you could you could see it on my screen with the liquify you you have uh, several different options 
uh, the one I use the most is Push. And I usually use it at uh, not too big of a distortion, between 20 and 30. Uh, it depends on how much you want to, uh, when you push something, how much you want it to change. If you want it to change a little bit, you um, would have a low distortion. If you want it to change a lot, you have a high distortion. And pressure, I keep it at like 88. I don't really mess with pressure or momentum. Uh, because they will I like to have a lot of control so the way I found to have a lot of control is manipulating the size and manipulating uh, well pretty much the size uh, distortion if I use it at this level here you get a, a little circle here anything in the center of the circle is and within that circle is going to be distorted so um, if I have it at the settings that I have it at now and say I wanted to manipulate her chin, I can drag down and it only affects that tiny bit. If I bring the distortion down a little bit more, and you can reset if you don't like what you see, and bring it in a little bit more. and. This one gives me a little bit more control with a lower distortion. With a higher distortion, it like uses the entire circle. So if I hop it again, yeah, kind of uses the entire circle. And it also distorts. <laughs> now, so I bring that distortion down about 20 and you have a little bit more control things aren't jumping all over the place so like for the eyes if I want to give it more of a almond shape I take it from the area that I want to kind of push and just keep in mind this is pushing pixels it doesn't combine pixels, it just pushes them. It stretches them, it pulls them, but they don't connect. Pixels are moving. So you can give yourself more of a more of a face, more of a distorted face. You can pull things out. Anything that is within the circle is going to be manipulated, but it focuses mostly on what's in the center here. And if you don't want to distort everything, reset, bring your size down, and say I want to make her into an elf. Use push. I got the size only what I want to manipulate, which is like the tip of the ear. And so I'm just coming around the edges of the ear and pulling outward. And you can go as far as you want. A bit more shape. Yeah, the liquify tool is like your best friend. That, the smudge tool, definitely can be your friend. Now you can have, uh, with this particular tool, the bigger you go, the more you can affect. So if I want to make a bigger ear, I just change the, the size of what I want to distort. Alrighty. Just keep in mind that anything that is within, that falls within the circle is going to be affected. I want to bring these in closer. So if you want to do like an anime character, but you don't want it to look like all the other anime characters that are out there, and you can also make an expression. If you don't want them to look like all the others, this is another way to, to set yours apart. 
so if you want to do more of the the ones with the angular eyes you can squish them down stretch them out uh, things like that you have a lot of freedom so I'm gonna back it up a little bit okay that I like the shape of the head right now now I like I want to go ahead and show you that you can do a lot of things with the other ones as well but this one gives you a lot of control like for the push you can either just push it a little bit or you can just take it and you can drag it you can bring it down gives them an angrier expression the bigger your uh, the bigger your size here the bigger the circle the more of the expression that you can bring and also if you want to uh, make them smile Now this tutorial was a question by, uh, let me see, on my Instagram, I'm Pinkney Kimberly, was Diamond Samuel, let me bring that over here so you can see, and uh, da uh, Diamond was asking, and uh, this is on Instagram, I'm Pinkney Kimberly, was wondering if you could make a tutorial on how to use the liquify tool to adjust the body type of a female models in easy pose. Uh, it's the only thing we don't like about the app. It's uh, user friendly, but the only it's the only downfall for them. So, this is how you can adjust. Uh, your character. And you can, you know, you can have... Like that you know surprise slash angry and what else can we do um you go ahead and reset okay so what i like doing is having a source image nearby oh 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 before i move on to like editing the character uh, i'll show you some of the things that you can do with uh, the other tools and then you can decide whether or not you want to use them or not Okay, so for some of the other tools I've found, oops, sorry, I gotta get off that one. Okay, get on the freehand. I'm going to take these eyeballs, or at least this one, and I'm going to put it on another layer. Okay, so I've got that on another layer. I'm gonna white out this right here so we don't really, well, yeah, I'll white it out. So on this layer here, do, 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 do. I'll just grab a color that's here. Make sure I'm on the right layer. Yep, yep. Make sure I have a uh, soft brush. And I'm just going to color that over. Can't see it because this one's in the way. So after I show this uh, tutorial, um, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and uh, you know just create a little happy image. And usually I don't like the eye. Uh, the I like putting my own hair in there. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and again use the soft brush. And if you ever forget what brush that you're on, you can go to recent. And then you can it'll it'll bring up the brushes that you've used. So I've used all these guys in the past, and I'll also show you uh, how I uh, you know do some some editing, how I do my hair, you know what I use. Okay, so basically what I'm using now is the smudge brush, and I'm going to get rid of the eyelash because it's chunky and it's annoying looking. And the way to use the smudge brush is you want to go from the color that you want to the color that you want to change. So making these strokes, and again it gives you that circle. You can make it bigger by increasing the size. And it will affect the pixels. This is the only way 
that besides using the uh, the paintbrush tool to uh, make pixels come together, things like that. This will also help if you need to like reduce the size of an eye. So like on this eye right here, I'm going to come from the shadow here, make that bigger, and just obscuring the eye coming from the shadow to uh, wherever I want to obscure. And then I would come back again with a bigger brush and fix that. All right. And then I would edit that. Okay, so with the uh, and that just lets me uh, manipulate my, my eye the way I want. Now, what I was going to show was with the liquify tool, uh, going through each one of them, uh, twirling to the right. This one works with um, how long you hold your, your brush down. And whatever's in their circle will be affected. And the longer you hold it, the more it distorts. And then you can also do it left. And if, it makes a really cute pattern. You don't like it, just go ahead and hit reset. If I just want to affect the internal person like right here, I would go ahead and hit uh, twirl to the right, make it small, the size small, and it should only affect what's in my little circle right here. And I'm just being weirdo. And that's messing with that eye. Okay. Looks good with water. Uh, let's see. So we'll reset that. Another one that's interesting is pinch. Same thing. What it does is it'll pinch everything in, all the pixels in. And, and the more you increase it, the more everything comes inwards. You can reset. You see, I changed the distortion. And I want to up the momentum. Yeah, it just squeezes it. It brings everything in. And then expand is the opposite. It'll bring everything outwards. Ooh, good stuff. Yeah. Okay. So that was expand. It just expands your pixels wherever you put them. I don't really use these brushes very often. Uh, an interesting one is uh, crystal, and it just gives you jagged edges. So this might be a really good tool for like the inside of the eye when you want to try to get the rods and the cones. Just set your, uh, your cursor down, and it'll affect everything that's uh, in the center of your circle. And let's see if I don't want to distort it too much. They're not too jagged, or maybe it's just a smaller jagged edge. Let me see what set. Let me make it smaller. And I'm going to go around the outside of this uh, rim here and see what it does. I'm going to make it bigger, make the distortion bigger. Let's see if I move inwards. It doesn't look like anything's happening. It looks like it's distorting, but not too much. I don't use it too much. There we go. But yeah, if that was in the center, it would make an interesting like effect in the eyes. That's pretty cool. Let's try this. Duplicate. And then on this one, liquefy, 
we have crystals. And if I bring it down a bit, it could be, it could be an interesting uh, effect if you want to get that sort of thing. And then uh, you can do uh, a mask and probably just mask out some of the parts that you don't like. And you can probably color it. Um, another effect that's in here is, uh, let me go back, and the liquify, you've got edge, and it seems to, let me see what edge does, let me bring the size down, edge seems to soften edges, bring some more smoother, Yeah, it just kind of smooths the edge out. So if I used it, uh, there is no distortion on it, but there is a momentum. So let's see. I'm just going around the, uh, the eye. And it seems to smooth out the edge a bit. It's not as jagged. And if I stay there, it looks like it's bringing uh, it looks like it's bringing some together. Huh? Interesting. Okay, so there is a lot of possibilities that you can do with um, this. Uh, reconstruct is just bringing it back to the way it was. Um, after doing what we did, or rather, it's like an undo button. So whatever it last was, it's going to bring it back to what it was. It's kind of like the undo button. It's kind of cool, though. Eh. But anyway, I don't know what adjust is. Oh, the strength. Okay, so maybe it's like push and adjust. So push, adjust the string. I don't know what it's adjusting. Maybe uh, the amount of change? Uh, I'm not sure. Okay, let me see. But again, I, I rarely use these. Okay. So, goodbye. Okay, so that is Liquify Tool. Um, let's see. So, what I usually do to adjust the bodies, like say I want to give her a longer neck, I have choices. I can basically select what I want, or rather, I can... Select, I can drag it down a bit and then increase the size that way. When you have a gap like this, uh, you can use the clone tool. It's a, it's a little awkward because it moves along with your brush and it clone, and I haven't figured out how to make the clone brush. Uh, oh, here we go. You have to zoom in. Okay, so zoom. So what it's going to do is going to clone whatever is right here as I go down. And you have to constantly move it. It's, it's really annoying. I rarely use it. Okay, so going back. Undo clone stroke. Okay. Okay, the other alternative that I use is the smudge brush. If there's like no, um, if there's no uh, patterns that I have to worry about, I would just go to 
uh, whatever is there and then I just go back and forth until I get the tones that I want. And then just gradually uh, soften everything the way I need it to, to look. If I need more color of this tone, I would just go from where it is here into here. And if I need more of this tone down here, I would just go ahead and do that. You can make it bigger. And that's one way of doing it to give us the, the longer neck. Okay, another way is using the um, liquify tool. Back it all up, back it up, back it up. Move it down a bit. Now I believe you can only back up about a hundred strokes before it tells you to uh, bite me, you're on your own. Okay. So, oh, <laughs> we'll give her back her eye. Okay. Uh, to, uh, you know, if I wanna lengthen all of that, but I don't wanna mess with the head, Select what you want to mess with. We'll say about that. Go to your liquify tool. Make it nice and big. So it occupies all of that. And then you can manipulate without having uh, you know, to go through what I just went through. So that's one way of linking in the neck. Um, you can shape the body, like I had shown earlier, liquefy. Uh, now, be careful of your size, because you'll be taking everything in and manipulating all of that. But this is one way of uh, getting the anatomy to straighten up. Uh, do, do, do. Yeah, and you can uh, straighten up some of these uh, What's it called? Um, hexagonal shapes. You can bring that down a little bit. Might even be able to give her other couple lumps. And give her horns. <laughs> um, okay, so it's just things like that. We reset. Uh, let's see, what else? Uh, again, you can um, select one area that you want to manipulate, so we'll manipulate the nose. You can either use this tool, but again, that tool takes you out and leaves you a gap, so then again, you'll have to make it work. You can select it first, sorry, select the nose, and this is all we want to affect is the nose. Um, we're going to use the liquify tool. Oh, rather, hold up, say we only want to affect the nose, Take the, liquid, not to, uh, take the selection tool, just get as much of the nose as you want, and then copy and paste it onto another layer. So you have your nose on another layer, and say that this character has like a big nose. Move this. You can use the liquify tool. Since you're on a whole nother layer, it won't affect any of the others. So you can, liquefy, use the push, and you can affect that nose, you can make it bigger, give her a Porticelli nose, and bring it in, and however you want to do it. And then uh, because the, the pixels are a different tone, different color, you can always come back in and you can edit it. You know, you can smooth it out, blend in those tones, make it make it work. Okay, so we got that kind of thing going on. Um, hit reset, go back. Uh, let's see. I sometimes like to lengthen the face. Get rid of that. I don't need that. Um, 
So like the chin is really weak. Um, oh, oh, oh. Let me go into another program real quick. Um, let me grab something. Because uh, I have another program that's similar to Easy Pose. Um, and I want to show you a trick that I do with the mouth. So, gallery. Uh, let me see if I can find another character that has a mouth. Uh, this is also Easy Pose. It's an older, the older character. Uh, what is it called? More of a superhero type character. Okay, she's got lips. So let's go ahead and grab that. Okay, we're going to come back to the uh, eyeball and uh, we're going to swap the model out. Uh, right here is the swap tool. I'm going to swap the model and we'll give her this lady. She's very statuesque. Let's move our camera. And uh, if you have any questions, uh, just let me know um, either in the comments or just go ahead and uh, send me a message on Facebook and I will get it and see if I can uh, answer your question. Okay, so for this character here, uh, she's got lips. So what I'm going to do is, uh, let's have some fun with this. Uh, I'm going to add some hair. Uh, what was it? Was it swap model? Um, was it costume? Let's see, woman casual. Oh, oh, let me close. clothes. Um, I wonder if it'll let me undo. Yes. Okay. This here. It was, see this one's for clothes, so I do that, this puts the clothes back on, see the swap model, those are the special models, costume, let's see, I'm trying to remember how to put the hair on, I think it was under hat, so if we have, Oops. Let me close that. Oh, it's spun it upside down. Okay, here we go. All right, so it was under a hat. I'm trying to remember how to get there. It's been a while. I don't usually put clothes on these people. Um, is it add? Is it props? No. Figure, those are props. I do use the props every now and then. Uh, let me close that. Uh, is it presets? No. Um, not process. Ah, because I don't use it. <laughs> uh, give me a second. It'll take me a sec. Um, God, how to get to the hair? Was, I think it was swap model. And then, I think it was costume. Let's see, woman casual. I do, oops, hair, head prop. Okay, so um, here we go. We got, let me get back to where we were. There we go. Okay, so that, and then head prop. Ugh. And then you got the different hairs. I like when you put them on, you like, it moves a bit. And we'll use this uh, to manipulate um, when we get to, when we export it. Let's see, this is a ponytail. Um, yeah. Oops. I don't usually use this. I, u I like to make my own hair. Let's go ahead and export. Let's see, I don't like the position here. There we go, like that. And then she's still giving us a side eye. Okay, so let's go ahead and export her here. Go back 
back to gallery. Come back here. <sighs> this is the wrong one. There it is. We'll just turn this off for a sec. We'll bring our image back in. Whoop. The whole purpose of this thing is to watch the screen. Okay. Okay, so we're going to insert a file. Not a file, sorry. Insert a picture. Photo. Alrighty. Now this one also has that, that extra background. And I don't feel like messing with it right now. Yeah, just take a second. Okay, Kim. Don't be lazy. All right. So what we're gonna do is we gotta take the color out. So we got the color fill. Turn that off. Okay, that should be off. Hit select on the outside. Oops. Hit automatic. That selects the outside. And we're gonna grab the outside and. Send it away. Okay. I'm going to put that select back on, put the color fill back on. Okay, so all of this is all one piece. It's all on one layer. And you can use the liquify tool to move um, the hair. We could either just do it from where we are right here. Oops. But you see you run the risk of messing with the, the body. We don't want that. We don't like that. So what I like doing is taking whatever I want to mess with that and, and just select the oh, wrong selection tool. Okay, let me clear that. Okay, I got the freehand select. I'm going to select the hair. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it on its own layer. All the hair that I'm going to mess with. And go copy paste. And it's on its own layer. And now we can play around. So, uh, if you try to just lengthen the hair, you get something like that. Uh, reset or free form it just kind of drags it um, might be able to make that work you got that it's not moving pixels it's, it, well, it is in a way but not like how liquify would do it liquify will allow you to give bends to the hair And then depending on how big you want that to affect, you can make it uh, kind of fit the body a little bit better. You know, cover the eye, not cover the eye, give it more shape. Or if you're really clever, you can take bits and pieces and mess with them. Okay. Um, I wonder. Let's see, let's use expand let's, for giggles. So we could do something with expand where we take a, a smidgen of it and we can make, make it kind of come out a little bit. And if you're off center, it'll only mess with what is in the circle. So, and then with push, you can make it go in different directions. Okay, so that's one thing you can do if you want to export the hair, but the hair is so, mm, it's not my thing. So, um, let's go ahead and get rid of that. Uh, you can give people muscles. 
Uh, let's see. Let's get a full body. Um, go back to gallery. And yeah, for manipulating the body, definitely the liquify tool is your best buddy. Um, for an example, let me go back to this real quick. For Ren here, I have a video of, uh, and this is just a time lapse replay. Uh, this is also an easy pose model. And this is the, the model, and I used the, uh, the sword. And I start to mess with the, the head, but then the head, uh, to get his likeness, started to become bigger than the body. And so I use uh, the liquify tool to make the body puff up. I use the liquify tool to make his uh, cheeks a little bit bigger. Um, let's see, his legs, everything gets a little bit beefier. I wiped out the eyes, um, the eyelashes and stuff. Gave him an expression, huh? Smile. I didn't export him with hair, so I ended up having to put my own hair in. And we're just gonna hang around until his muscles start to pop. One of the things I've learned about uh, a drawing on these programs is you want to kind of keep with the shadows that you've got. So if like there's a shadow going along his shoulder, uh, if you add clothes, try to keep that shadow in there. Uh, use like multiple colors uh, instead of just, uh, you know, one or two. Uh, try to use, uh, you know, uh, instead of just like sticking with one and making it look flat, like a 3D model has flat clothes on, uh, try to stay with the shape of the body. And I think I'll, I think I've uh, plopped, yeah. Let's see. And I put his clothes on and I fluffed those up a bit. But anyway, uh, what I was going to show is um, you can you can change the shape of a, of a person. Uh, you can uh, make them flatter chested. You can make them wider. Uh, manipulating the body here. Let me duplicate this because I might use this someday. Let me turn that one off. Like say I wanted to. Uh, make her waist a little bit, you know, more cinched. And yeah, this this program is really good for. Oops, too big. Let me bring that down. So, you can bring that in. And give it like the the Kardashian special. Let's see. Uh, you can make the uh, limbs a little bit longer without having to, uh, you know, smudge it together and stuff like that. Make the big boobs bigger or smaller. Smaller or isolate it by whoops reset you can isolate different portions and then you can make them bigger or smaller well not like that 
I usually put them on a different layer if I'm going to make something bigger or smaller. That way you don't have to worry about um, uh, adding a recolor to it so much. But with great boobs comes great responsibility. Which means that whatever you do, you want to make it seem like it's natural, that it belongs. Not like it's uh, somebody's crazy whatever. Um, but if you have it on a whole other layer, you can do all kinds of crazy stuff to it. Um, so like, say I was giving her, let me see what we get out of this. Like, a, what do they call those things? Um, not a push-up bra, but uh, I forget what it's called. Um, it'll come to me when it doesn't matter, like 3 o'clock in the morning. I'm going to add on another layer. And clothing, of all things. And a corset. Haha! <laughs> Take that old age. All right, we can add, oh, wrong color. Let's try, let's do purple. Purple is a magic color. Okay. It doesn't look like it fits. <laughs> so let's make our corset fit. Uh, we're going to use liquify tool. And let's see, before I do that, I'm going to make it a little transparent. And I'm going to make her have, like, make her boobs pop up a little bit. So. Uh, let's make the corset fit a bit. Oops, my size is too big. There we go. And you have you have control. There we go. And any of the exposed skin, we can always like tuck that in. Okay, so we got that part going on, and then go back to the original, and give her like a Miss Kitty uh, breast enhancement special uh, that was liquify, and just kind of push them. Now the thing this won't do, it won't combine pixels. So even if you're trying to push things together, it'll just move them like that. So if you're going to do like those that are of the well-endowed persuasion, you're going to have to use your, uh, your smudge tool and just kind of bring that up a bit. round them out or smoosh them together because this the liquify tool does not uh, combine so things like that but it will help you shape to a certain extent Give her that wasp waist. And then make it smaller when you're trying to affect a smaller area. But don't make it too small or else you'll get lumps like that. Or again, just select your area.
then go to liquefy and then push and then she's more amply endowed just make sure that you smudge up any areas so that they look like they belong Alrighty, yep, there we go. So, uh, and yeah, you can go even bigger if you wanted to. <laughs> um, but yeah, so that's how you use the liquify tool. Um, you do have a whole bunch of options. If you needed to add, um, let me try to think of anything else that I would use for the liquify tool. Oh, that's right. I was gonna show you how to open these mouths. Okay, so one of the ways that I would open a mouth, you know, to make them smile and whatnot, it doesn't hurt to have a source image. So, let's see. Um, let's find us a lady smiling. Uh, let's see. She's in order in that direction. Uh, la, 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 la. Uh, let's see, I am on my Pinterest. I'll bring that over so you guys can see my screen. Okay, so what I'm doing is looking for um, a face that is, and that's pretty much about the liquify tool. Um, if you want to stay, and I can show you what how I would use it, um, I'm going to go ahead and do that. Let's see if we can find a fun celebrity. Ooh, Olivia. Olivia's not in a bad position, plus she's smiling. Okay, so we're going to use Olivia. I'm going to copy that. Copy that Ghost Rider. And then, um, do I want to save it? I do not. So we'll see if I can share the screen with Olivia here. Um, and click on her. And then I wonder if it'll let me. No, it's not doing it. Oh well heck. I was gonna to try to see if I can share my screen with that. Okay. Rather than do that. I lost Olivia. Okay, here we go. Let me grab her. Hey! Hey! That'll work. I'm going to make this, a, this window a little bit smaller. Hope y'all can see that. Okay, so we really don't need the picture in picture anymore. So I'm going to turn that part off. Oh, one, one. There we go. All right. So, it's not exact. She's not exactly looking in the same direction. We could manipulate it so that we kind of make it look like that. So, how I would do it is I would take the freehand tool and I would put that head on a whole other layer because I don't want to affect the body. So, I'm going to copy and paste it. It's on its own layer. With the liquify tool on this layer, I'm going to let me, let me tilt her head a bit. There we go. And then I'll just kind of mask off the body here. Get the soft brush on black, and that'll just kind of hide that stuff. <gasps> Oops, excuse me. Too much Kool-Aid. Okay, put it back here. There we go. All right. I'll just add that. Okay. So I want her 
to look in the same direction. I'm going to try to mirror exactly what I'm seeing. Uh, ideally, you just want to probably put your model in that position. But to show you what the power of the liquefied tool, what it can do, um, I'm going to go ahead and start nudging. Oops, let me bring that down a bit. Bring that out, bring this in. And we'll probably have to redo the eyeballs um, if we don't put them on its own layer. And let's see, we can probably zoom in on the eyes and see if we can manipulate them to how when the movie is looking. Otherwise, we'll just have to redraw them. Just kind of move the center portion of that part and just manipulate how that eye is looking. She's kind of looking down and to the side. This is all a liquify tool. Because she's smiling, I'm going to expand the nostrils a bit, and I'm going to bring up the bottom of the uh, eyelash here. Again, I could select it and move it that way. That way it doesn't affect the pixels underneath it. And uh, if I wanted to bring this part of the uh, lower lid up, I can't. As you see, it just bends it. So that's where your smudge tool comes into effect. We got that. Oops. So it's almost like you have to color some pixels every now and then too. Yeah. And we want her to look down a little bit, so liquify tool again. Bring it down really small. And we'll just bring that iris in. And we can probably just use the smudge tool. Cover the top there. Select uh, the color that's there. Whoops. And just kind of repaint it back in. And then we can add our um, eyelashes and whatnot. Okay, so. If I was going to make her nose kind of look like that, uh, since we do still have like gray pixels here, we'll end up having to lose those. Uh, so I'll use the uh, smudge tool and I'll just kind of smudge those out a bit. Okay, so let's open up her mouth because everything else is like kind of like you would use something besides the liquefy tool to get it where you want it. Like I would bring her eyelashes down with uh, the, my hairbrush. Well, just select the color that's there. Okay, but I want to make her smile like that. So what I usually do is I usually separate the the mouth or the jawline. So, uh, depending on which one I'm going to manipulate, um, let's see, I'm going to, first I'm going to try to get the mouth in that position by using the liquify tool. Let me bring it up a little bit higher. And I want to try to be mindful of the, the tones that are here.
give her a nice big smile. Okay. Now, uh, this part of the lip, the upper lip, usually gets more of a highlight. So I'm going to grab, before I move on, I'm going to grab some of the highlighting and I'm just going to lightly and I'm going to bring down the opacity a bit so that I have to tap. Like my first tap is really nice. It's a nice light. It's a nice light tap. Um, like even the tip of her nose. Now I'm not trying to make it look exactly like her, but I am trying to get like as much of a smile as I can. You will smile, woman. And different, uh, different muscles, different planes of your face react when you smile. And then I'd add more shadow and whatnot. Um, take some of that. And what I'm going to do is uh, add the shadow and then blend it. So it doesn't look like it's out of place. But it also gives her face dimension. Okay. All right, so now to open up her mouth, I usually uh, take the lower part of the jaw about where it's going to separate. And then I'll paste it onto another layer. And then I'll take it and bring it down with this liquify tool. Or, let me see, let's bring it down this way. Uh, we've got the warp tool. You've got also an advanced warp, which gives you a few more extra little points to, to move. And I'm going to see if I can emulate her smile. So. Part of her jaw comes in a little bit. We'll bring her mouth open. And we're going to smooth out her lips. We'll bring it down just a smidge. We don't want to change the jaw too much. This is one way of doing it. I'm to open about that much or so. Okay, and then the rest of the way we can use the uh, liquify tool. And I'm going to uh, smooth out her bottom lip here. Once we put some teeth in there. Okay, so one way to do teeth, and I'm going to uh, smooth out this part of the jaw too. So basically what we've got is we we'll take that off. That's what we've got so far. All right, let's give her some teeth. One way of getting teeth is by, if you need to create teeth, uh, and you will be using the liquify tool, uh, let's go to create a brush. Let me see. So in the outline tool here, Basically, to get, to make a teeth, uh, like create like a new brush, and then 
change the spacing so that you've got balls like that touching each other. Go to done, which is basically like the second brush right here. Make sure it's on a different layer. And we're going to, whoops, make sure her teeth aren't too big. Okay. Let's see. We want to give her a gap. And you want to see if you can try to get it like that. I see she's got one, two, three, four, five, six. Four. So ten teeth showing in the front. So let's go ahead and do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. And then we can squeeze them together with the freeform tool. She's got big teeth, so we can get away with, we can warp them. Because the point is, is that we're, we've got the teeth. Let's see, we'll make these two right here, the center. Oh, let's see, let's try advanced. Now, okay, we're going to jump right on into the liquify. She's got a lot of teeth. So with the liquify tool, we bring it down to smaller size and just bring those down and give her fangs if you wanted and then part of her her teeth are uh, going to be obscured by her lips and we've got a little bit of uh, what is that called uh, gums her gums are showing and you just kind of adjust them a little bit there you go. and because teeth aren't always like pearly white because they're underneath the uh, let's see we're going to go ahead and add the gums we'll make that kind of like a pinkish color we don't really need to because it is a black and white picture, um, but a pinkish color. And we can just use the select brush. Make sure we have a different layer. We're going to put that underneath the teeth. And we just as much gums as we need. I meant to use like the selection, but basically. We get the chance. Okay, so with that there, we want the jaw to be above uh, the teeth. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and merge these two together. Let's see. We want this here to be masked off. And we'll switch that from white to black. Just hold it down. It should turn to black. Well, should have turned to black. Okay, and then we'll just kind of erase what we don't. Sorry, gotta switch the brush. But basically, that's how I would create a brush like that. I don't need that one. Yes, delete the brush. Okay, let's go back to our recent. Okay. And just mask off what you don't need. Usually at the corner of the mouth there's a, a dark brown, dark to light brown color about like right here. Oh, it's on the mask. It can wait. Okay, so this is going to come above the teeth as well. So I'm going to move this up one. Oop, too high. 
No, no, that's right. That's right. Okay, so the bottom lip, we can adjust that back upwards until they cover up the teeth. And then we can adjust it from there. <laughs> but yeah, but basically that's how you can uh, change an expression of someone who does not have an expression. Okay, so from here is where I would just kind of use my source image and then uh, just edit the rest of the image. So finish up her lips. I'd probably merge the layers. There we go. It's a happy madam. Okay. And then just pretty much using my source image uh, for uh, the lighting, uh, some of the uh, some of the ways that light hits the face, the planes of the face. I'm going to use liquify and bring the mouth up just a bit. We're going to fix her jaw here, her chin. But, um, but yeah, that's basically how I would use this to manipulate the body. If there's a part that's really difficult, I would go ahead and uh, isolate that with the uh, selection tool. Oops, I'm going to wipe everything out here and then give her the shadows again. Let's see, or the highlights rather. top of the lips we lost our highlight here or well, we never really had it because of the, the way the, the model was about messing with the nose using the liquify tool again I'm going to manipulate the nose bring that up a little bit and then I'm going to get rid of some of the shadow here uh, it's not necessary depending on you know it depends on how this person is is uh, posed rather but you can do a lot with some of the highlights and shadows. Just pay attention to what's going on on your uh, source image. And if you can, try to find a source image that is in the same direction, similar lighting, uh, things like that, and that will help you out a lot. Now, these teeth are super white. Um, let's see, we can gray them up a little bit, but we, you know, I'm going to try to make them a little bit, oops, too big. I wanted to kind of raise it up a little bit because Olivia's got big teeth. 
Got a big, beautiful smile. Very thin lips. Dimples, if you want. Oh, uh, let's see. Okay, so she's got. Let's see, let me use a little bit of gray here. Don't want to make her look like a ventriloquist dummy. Just kind of give it a hint. Go. And then just kind of smudge it a bit. Oh, okay. And lastly, we can do the hair. Oh, let's fix the eyes, because they're a little bit far apart. Make it big enough so that it affects the entire side. Oops, don't want to warp her too much. Back that up. And a lot of this would probably be covered up by hair. We can't always rely on hair, so I'm going to try to trim some of the body here. Woo! Warm it up here. Okay, let me see if I can make this more of a, what is the word? Uh, less warped? <laughs> there we go. More symmetrical. So it's not too strange looking. Now, uh, a lot of people suggest to um, flip your canvas. You can do that as well. I don't usually do that very often. Okay, so I want to make this head just a little bit bigger. Right here, I'm using the warp tool. And it's basically doing what I was trying to do. I'm trying to get it to be a little bit more symmetrical, not too weird. And then advanced mesh over here, you can tweak more things and try to get it going that way. That's not too bad. But yeah, so that's how you open up that mount. We can uh, take the, the shine off the teeth if we wanted to. Uh, hair. Um, I usually use the... Uh oh, for those of you who are just popping in and uh, seeing what's going on. I was using the source image of Dear Olivia here. And we took it from, let's see, let's see if I can move her to the side here. Take off the warp tool. From this face to this face. Okay, I'm gonna have to update my uh, <laughs> my uh, thing here. Okay, so we got that. So to do hair, we don't need a girl looming over our shoulder like Trump. Uh, whew, her ear is like tiny too. Um, I am buttoning up. It is 93 degrees. in my neck of the woods. Okay, using the uh, liquify tool again, I'm gonna make her ear look a little bigger. 
Now, sometimes when you use the tool, uh, it may make things that are pixelated even more pixelated. That's when you'd have to come in and uh, bring in your your skills and using the liquify tool, the uh, what is it called, the smudge tool. Uh, if you have it, use a what is it called, a uh, source image, and see if you can uh, form your own ear. But we'll probably cover this up with hair. So, she looks like Claire Danes in this picture. Um, but yeah, that's how I would use the liquify tool. Now for hair, uh, this is the bodice thing. Um, let me bring this one down here. Uh, hair can be manipulated rather well. Uh, I'm going to throw a rectangle down on this layer. Let's give it a different tone. I like I like that color. We'll give it a different hair color. Make sure this is clear. Okay. And rectangle. We're just gonna draw a rectangle. Using the liquify tool, let's make some hair. So we can we're gonna use the push. We can also use some of the others here. Uh, we've got twirl to the right, so let's, let's try it. Nice little twirl. And we can twirl it to the left, twirl it to the right. And just, there we go. And then we'll use the push. And just pretend like it's on her. Let's see. There we go. And I think we'll put that behind her. There we go. We can give her, well, we'll do two sides. So we have a little bit there. Do another rectangle. And this is just like random hair. So we can use the liquify tool. that go in there, give her some shape. So liquify tool can just bid your hair the way you need it to. And it should be behind her. Yeah. I'm going to merge this head down so that the hair is not going in between. There we go. Uh, now that the hair is above. There we go. Hair is behind. We can just keep pushing the hair around. Ooh, wrong layer. Okay. So, however you want to do the base of your hair, You can manipulate however you want it to go. Like remember what I said that it will not bring them together. No matter what you do, they just will not come together. It will not it does not merge. Let's see. So Let's see, let's do some waves, 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 twist, twist. Okay, I'm getting delirious because it's so hot in here. But yeah, um, you can randomize your hair, hairstyles, their clothing using uh, these twists.
you can do just a whole bunch of all kinds of craziness. I want to try something. Um, I'm clear this. And I'm going to create a curl. Let's see. This one will be in front. Liquify. Doesn't look good, does it? Uh, not a problem. I usually use my fine hair brush to make hair. Oops. And so I'll just follow that curl. Sometimes it's better to start off with um, like a style already that you have in your mind or even just the shape. Let me clear that. Let's see. Could cheat like me and create your own hair brushes. We'll give her a fro. Big blue fro. And what I'm going to do with this said fro is I'm going to uh, use the liquify brush and just kind of move it around. Increase the size. Or even better, hold up. When you have, yeah, well, let me move it around with a little fine brush. So say I have too much hair and not enough over there. I'll just use my liquify and I can kind of swirl it if I wanted to. Just give it just a different shape. And I can move it off her face. Or, let's try this. Let me clear that. What if you have braids, right? Um, something, something like that. Let's get off the blue. Something a little darker. We got brown. And you want them to move a little bit. You can use your liquify tool and just give it more shape, give it a different shape. Make it follow the body more. Too big. Maybe you want it to come off the side here. Your liquify tool can manipulate it to where you need it. You know, type of thing. So to speak. Mm. Your 
amplify tool can do all kinds of interesting things. Uh, let's see. I want to try something. Like, uh, let me clear this. One of these little earth goddesses haircuts. Where it's like up on... Again, liquify can give you just a different shape. It's not an appealing shape, but you know, the more you play with it, the more you do things with it, um, the more you know that you get what you can get away with what looks good, what doesn't. Um, huh, I think I've blown my wad here. So, yeah, for hair, you have a lot of freedom. Uh, let me see if I've got a nice braid that I've created here. I like Let's see. This one's really thick. Like my 4C hair. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Get your little, little space buns. Use a short hair brush. But yeah, so basically your liquify can shape your pixels is basically all I'm trying to get at. Get your hair fitting uh, the way you want it to fit. your highlights and your shadows and liquify can uh, can help deepen those move them around for you um, especially if you have them on a different layer so and help you get the, uh, the variance that, you know, you so desire. But uh, again, thank you so much for joining me. Um, I'm just getting hot. <laughs> Everything's hot in here. <laughs> so, uh, but yeah, there's a lot you can do with the liquify tool. Um, I'll go ahead and do a time-lapse replay to show how we got this far for the smile here uh, for those who just joined. Sorry about the, the craziness with the... Uh <laughs> oh, it's going to go through everything here. Hold up. There we go. So basically, we're explaining the, the, the liquify tool and... Uh, 
I decided to give her kind of like a bodice of some sort uh, corset and manipulating the head at, at a certain angle showed you how you could open up your mouth create a mouth <laughs> or recreate a mouth and just try to get your face uh, to resemble uh, something like your either your source image or uh, just the image that you have uh, planned for your character and then it's like I'm just playing around with uh, different hairstyles things that you can do uh, but liquify can definitely shape each of these hairstyles into whatever you need it to do you know well, not whatever you need it to do but within reason so that's that and then the last part where we had begun was with this character and I don't think it was this character. I think it was just on this file um, with that character. And using Liquify, uh, I just go through pretty much what Liquify can do for you. Uh, the benefits. So you can either cut things in half to lengthen your, your neck or you can Liquify it and make it bigger. But Liquify is terrible with the time lap re replay. Yeah, see, it's gone. None of the hair things that I had done earlier will show. Yeah, so, uh, you guys, thank you so much for joining me. Um, I wish I had more to show you. Again, I had spent two hours uh, recording how I went from this character to this, and none of it had any sound, and it didn't record. And just to show you, I mean... The uh, if I did the time lapse replay, uh, it wouldn't show you. Sorry, it, it won't show you how you know you go from one size to another with the uh, liquify tool. So it's a good thing and a bad thing. Bad thing if you want to show it, but uh, good thing if you just want to get through your time lapse replay. <laughs> so this was two hours or so worth of work uh, just to get to this point uh, on this character right here. So you guys, thanks again for uh, coming and I will see you in the next, in, in, you know, all the warping and stuff with the hair was all from, yeah, was from the uh, uh, liquify tool, the, uh, the eyes being reduced liquify tool, uh, the lips, I started off small and plumped them up with the liquify tool expanded the nose with the liquify tool um you know expanded the neck with the liquify tool so uh there's a lot you can do it's your best friend if you want to manipulate uh 3d models like uh you know from a 2d program you guys have a great one and if you have any questions uh leave them in the comments and i will go ahead and see if i can answer them in another video uh, or you can reach out to me on my Instagram under Pinkney Kimberly and you can see some of the other works that I've done. Um, I'm trying to think if there's any others that I've done here that I used Liquify on, but then again, it, it's not going to matter because you can't see it. <laughs> again, I will see you guys in the next video. If you have any other um, easy pose questions or uh, how to draw on an easy pose character uh, just ask you guys have a great one and I'll see you in the next video bye-bye mm,